Uh, thank you very much for inviting uh, you know, Grand Shan 2015 in Reading. Uh, my name is Chang Kim, originally from Seoul, Korea, but uh, I've been living in the U.S. Uh, for the past 16 years. I mean, as we all know, typically type is, is not just uh, uh, visual systems that communicate what we human beings usually think. But uh, this one to me uh, may have a lot of uh, possibilities that we can visually translate uh, uh, even further than typical communication. So obviously any visual translation of thought, human thought, is a part of the cultural uh, you know, uh, expressions and descriptions. Um, but the type usually linked to the language and uh, also a little bit more um, closer context what we usually live and how we feel in a particular uh, situations and uh, surroundings. So um, different languages and different characters may uh, refer to uh, different uh, meaning but uh, this whole together uh, is, is a really uh, essential uh, impact um, to really make a connections of uh, different cultures in a global sense. So I, I don't usually make any distinction between the local culture or others uh, versus like a global culture. To me, uh, whether you grammatically understand uh, the, um, this typographic expressions uh, or not, uh, it, it always uh, visually uh, um, you know, self-expressed so people may uh, feel uh, uh, the right you know, uh, information. That's one of the reasons I chose typogram that has uh, uh, image reference within the structure of the type. If you think about the ancient characters, like, uh, like ideographic you know, symbols and others, for example, like Mayan symbols and characters, or even ancient Chinese characters, yes, they were based on the imaginaries because when human being first time tried to share some information with others, there wasn't any logical writing system at all. So they express what they visually remember when they see something else. That's how they draw image-like characters. But um, in that case, you have to memorize you know, millions of different images that you have to draw and memorize it. And also, your drawing doesn't necessarily understandable to somebody else's you know, mindset. So people have to agree, you know, this particular shape means this, this meaning. So in that case, Latin, to me, uh, the origin was based on the imaginaries, but now what we use Latin is no longer uh, relevant to visualize the image. Um, uh, so still, if, if I think about, you know, which, uh, which language or which you know, a type uh, may better uh, to apply the typogram, uh, I wouldn't say there's any particular uh, uh, language or types are better than the other one. But uh, I use Latin a lot because, you know, that's what I usually use every day and, you know, when even I teach the students or, you know, I do for myself, it's easier for me to handle it. But uh, I, I don't mean that's the only, the, you know, better one than the other one. I think so. I mean, you know, uh, the first goal of making typogram is actually very intuitive expressions. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, I draw a certain style of the image, uh, may uh, differently understandable to someone else's because somebody may say, oh, this one looks like a cat, but uh, I meant a dog. You know, how do we justify that? But uh, uh, in order to make a good understandable uh, typogram, there has to be a sense of the characteristics. So as long as I pick that up very uh, in a, uh, uh, logically and apply it to my form of the typogram, it could be internationally uh, you know, understandable communication system. And uh, that's one of my passion. I you know, keep you know, uh, studying and uh, working on the typograms. Um, my, my feeling is similar to what the other two previous Korean uh, designers already mentioned it. Uh, we feel like when we say non-Latin, seems like we rather emphasize on Latin a lot. Uh, I don't know whether it makes sense or not, because 
you feel like a Latin is like way over there and then all the rest of the other languages are like a, a, a separated group. So, you know, for example, Granjan, our spirit and the mission statement is really uh, uh, re-evaluate and discovering the, uh, the value of non-Latin you know, typographic world. But a uh, term we use is a non-Latin, so it's, it's very uh, ironic. You, you rather emphasize on Latin too much. So uh, we, we want to say, I'm not sure whether it's a right expression or not, but uh, we want to say world type. Uh, it's a different nuance as a uh, global type. Global type seems to emphasize on relationship a little bit too much. Uh, but when we say world type, it just uh, mentions uh, that every letters are equally important as a, a larger scope of our uh, typographic world. Um, but uh, I should study a little bit more about <laughs> finding better you know, terminology later on. The moment that I'm thinking.